Hi, this is Steve Mays, and this is, I'm not going to call this my testimony, but it's my contribution. Um, when I was young, probably four or five years old, um, my family made it clear to me that uh, I had a homosexual friend, which uh, I was unaware of because I was innocent at the time. Um, and they sat me down and told me what being gay was and why it was wrong. Uh, they're more open-minded now. It was a different time when I was younger. Um, but... Uh, you know, up until that point, we had a good friendship, and then after that, it became strained, and I think after a year or so, we weren't friends anymore because I was so self-conscious about it, you know. And then into high school and different things, I had always been around um, gay men, but it never, you know, I just kind of ignored, you know, what I was told by my family. I just figured, well, okay, they're different, but, you know, it doesn't really affect me. So um, I remember in 1998, I did the Grease stage play, and uh, one of the members was gay, but I mean, he was cool, but it was, it was still, I had this thing where, okay, this guy's a little different, but, and then uh, in 2006, I responded to an ad on Michigan Works to be uh, involved in an independent film, and so I applied, and I went, I went and met this gentleman, I won't say his name, but I went and met him, and, uh, we got along great, and he asked if I would be interested in being the assistant director as well, and I said, sure. So we were working pre-production for this film for, I don't know, probably three months, and we got to be pretty close friends, and uh, I was chatting with him on Yahoo Messenger one night, and because uh, I had never seen him, you know, have a girlfriend or any, anything at the house, and I said, so so what uh, What are you going to do tonight? I said, so go to the bar. I said, oh, so you're going you're gonna to get some chicks, you know? And, and he, there's like this long pause, like a five minute pause. And I was like checking my messenger, you know, and, uh, he said, you, you know, I'm gay. Right. And that's when I realized, you know, I had no clue that, um, this person was, uh, you know, gay. So I, you know, they, I, I think that that really opened my mind to the fact that, you know, gay people are just like straight people and every other kind of people. So I, I just, uh, if, if something like that can happen and open everybody's mind um, to the acceptance of it, you know, that'd be great. Uh, the thing is, is that I just turned 30 today. Our generation, I mean, I'm, I'm middle-aged, but then they're younger people. If we can get all these people thinking that way, uh, you know, all the older generation and, and the, the bigots and, and everybody, uh, they'll, you know, they'll eventually fade away and then the new generation will take over. And that's, you know, that's something to look forward to. And as far as the church goes, you know, the, the churches, your churches in the um, small towns and things are, pro are probably great for you. But the church as an organization as a whole is frightening to me. I think that they try to control too much. And I, it's one of the things I was always told in church, too, is, you know, you do this, you go to hell, you do that, you go to hell, you're homosexual, you go, you know, whatever. So it's just, I appreciate the chance to talk and tell my little story and, and hope, you know, maybe it'll change some straight man's uh, opinion out there. Thanks, bye.